Hi there, it's my honor to share our work file that has been accepted by the Web Conference 2022 with you. Nowadays, recommender systems have been a part of our lives. No matter in the field of shopping, movie, and music, they usually send us high quality content to avoid information overload problem in the era of information explosion. We all know that recommender systems are not static. New users, new items, and new interactions between users and items are always continuously generated. So one basic requirement for real-time recommender system is that they cannot merely rely on retraining the model to deal with the new data, but should deal with it in the form of incremental update based on the recently trained model. Mm, graph neural networks now have been one of the most powerful tools to capture user features and improve the occurrence of recommend recommend recommendation. However, graph neural networks based incremental recommendation algorithms still have two problems. Firstly, the introduction of a large number of trainable parameters caused long time in training phase thus affect the efficiency of recommendation. Secondly, the algorithms capture user features based on the existing user interactions, so they cannot deal with the cold start problems when new user, new items, or new interactions appear. To this end, we propose a non parametric model file that does not need a very time-consuming training process. So it has very high efficiency in the model updating stage. FIRE is designed with the help of graph signal processing on the basis of static information filter borrowed from GFCF. We also design two low pass filters to improve the occurrence of a recommendation. Um, the temporal information filter is used to capture the user's preference over time by exponential at, at exponential attenuation of user interactions, while the set information filter models the set information as the similarity between users or items to eliminate, eliminate the abnormal information in the recommendation results. All three filters can fil filter the high frequency components and retain the low frequency components, make the user interaction signals smoother so as to ensure the occurrence of recommendation contents. Um, before introducing our method, let me introduce a powerful tool called graph signal processing. Graph signals can be viewed as a vector mapping f from node from node v to from, from a node from, from, from a node to a real number on a given graph. Sometimes the signal is very messy, which may include both high frequency and low frequency signals. Usually what we want is a low frequency signal, which can be obtained by applying some filters to the signal. Graph filter is often used to fill out, fill out some undesired high frequency components in the signal to make the signal smoother. Here we introduce two important uh, filters. The first one is the linear filter, and the second one is the ideal filter. Finally, the graph signal processing can be regarded as importing an original signal, converting it to the spectral domain through Fourier transform, then applying a filter to fill out the high frequency part and retain the low frequency part, then obtain the filtered signal through inverse Fourier transform. GFCF is a powerful method that combines linear low pass filter and ideal low pass filter to obtain desired design signals from noisy signals. One main advantage of GFCF is that it is a non parametric method. It does not need a complex and time consuming model training process but only needs efficient matrix multiplications, calculate the recommendation scores from a closed form solution, 
which can significantly improve the efficiency of incremental model updates. However, GFCF faces with two key challenges. The first is incapable of capturing temporal information. It treats early interactions as important as recent interactions. Mm, the second is incapable of handling new users or items. GFCF cannot provide recommendation for new users or items without historical interactions, which greatly limit, limit the application scope of the algorithm. Therefore, we introduce a temporal information filter to capture the dynamics of user preference drops over time. To incorporate temporal information, Bell needs to assign unequal weights to different interactions according to the difference between the time of historical interaction and the time of recommendation, reflecting that the interactions in different time periods could have very impact on the recommendations in the future. Assuming that the current time is the current time is T, and we want to predict the items that user will interact with at time T plus one, we can divide the user historical interactions into two parts, the user interactions before T and the user interactions during T. The former interactions need to be reweighted by importance coefficient, coefficient in, in dedicating the importance of the user historical interaction to the prediction of the future interaction, which can be used to capture the dynamics of a user preference changing over time. The importance coefficient of interactions during time t is one by default. That is, current interactions have the greatest impact on the prediction of the user interactions in the next time period. After, re after rewriting the interactions, we can use them to predict user's future interaction. It is noted that we should keep the current R and T to realize incremental update. New users or items are common in real-world recommender systems, but many algorithms cannot provide effective recommendation for them due to the lack of corresponding interactions, also known as the cold star prob problem. Using said information is an effective method to solve the cold star problem. Said information usually refers to the character characteristics of the user and items. User interaction data implicitly describes the characteristics of users and items from the perspective of preference, while said information explicitly describes the static characteristics of the user and items from the essence of them. Therefore, the set information provides the recommendation algorithms with a new perspective to learn about users and items. We, so we equip FIRE with a set information filter to achieve more current recommendation and address the core star issue. First, we need to encode set information. For example, the attributes of a user or items can be encoded in the form of multiple one hot encoding and the image or text information can be proce processed by per train model. After obtaining encoded set information, SU and SI, we need to normalize the two similarity metrics to ensure the numerical stability in, in the graph convolution process, process. The user and item similarity matrix essentially represent the first order neighborhood information. Similar to light GCM, we, take, we can take the high order neighborhood information into account to achieve more current recommendation. Finally, we can use two similarity matrices to predict interactions. By combining the pr predictions from temporal information filter and site information filter, we can obtain the final predict results, that is P T plus one. To further improve the efficiency of FLYER, 
we try to speed up the running of fire without significantly affecting its occurrence. Firstly, since the normalized similarity matrix are dense matrices, the calculations involving these two matrices need a lot of matrix multiplications, which takes up most of the computation of fire. So we propose two methods, the core idea of which is making the matrix sparse to improve the efficiency of fire. The first method is thresholding and the second one is top K neighborhood neighbors. In our method, we choose the first method because it is more efficient and similarly occurrent. And for incremental efficiency, the number of flops of fire without incremental algorithm is greater than that of fire with incremental algorithm, which shows the necessity and effectiveness of incremental algorithm. It is noted that fire without incremental algorithm is noted that in fire without incremental algorithm, fire needs to process all interactions until the current time. And for experiment, in a currency compression experiment, we compare file with the 11 baselines in our four data sets. The results show that file consistently outperforms all the state-of-the-art collaborative filtering methods in all data sets. With the help of the proposed temporal information filter, file can mine the 10 varying features of users and items from the user item interaction sequences and capture the temporal dynamics of users and items to improve their recommendation accuracy. With the help of proposed set information filter, FIRE can not only address the code star issue for new users or items, but also improve accuracy by set information. In addition, on two extremely sparse data sets, Amazon Book and Amazon Electronics, the occurrence of fire is much higher than traditional incremental recommendation algorithms, such as SPMF and SML, and better than graph-based incremental recommendation algorithms, Judy and DeepCo involved. This shows that fire can also deal with sparse data by the design of temporal and static information filter. We also conduct an ablation study on the movie and the movie one million to analyze, analyze the importance of temporal information and static information to fire. Compare ring GFCF with fire setting two on the movie data set. Fire achieved better performance than GFCF on all matrices, which shows the importance of temporal information in helping fire to improve the recommendation accuracy. We can conclude that item set information is beneficial for fire by comparing fire setting three against fire setting one and fire setting four against fire setting two, respectively. Similar ob observations can be found in the MobiLens 1 million data set. Then we conduct experiments on two data sets to verify that fire can solve the new users or item recommendation issue when combined with set information. The results show that the occurrence of fire with set information is much higher than that of fire without set information. Indicated, indicating that introduction of set information can effectively solve the new user or item recommendation issue. And in efficiency anal analysis experiment, we compare the efficiency of fire against other incremental collaborative filtering algorithms on the movements of one million data set. The left figure shows the total time for training and inference for of fire and the other incremental algorithms for model updating in each new time period. Note that fire without EI means fire without efficiency improvement. As we can see from the results, fire achieved the highest efficiency. The reason why fire is so efficient does, is that it does, not, it does not have a very time consuming training phase for model 
um, parameters. We also compare bio with bio without without EI to verify the effectiveness effectiveness of true efficiency improvement method. The results show that fire is about two times faster than fire without EI. Although fire without EI also achieves good efficiency comparing to the uh, comparing to the other incremental collaborative filtering methods. Um, and last, so we also an, an, analyze the effects of the three important hyperparameters on the performance of fire and the results are shown in the right figure. Uh, finally, let me conclude this work. We propose the fast incremental recommendation method fire, which is a non parametric method that does not suffer from the time consuming back propagations that significantly improve the efficiency of motor updating. Um, and fire can capture the temporal dynamics of a user or items and address the core star issue for new users or items through two carefully designed filters based on the temporal information and the set information, respectively. Extensive experiments demonstrated that FIRE can outperform the state-of-the-art incremental collaborative filtering in both occurrence and efficiency. Okay, thanks for listening. Thank you for that presentation, uh, Jia Feng. Uh, any questions from the audience? Yeah, I just want to say uh, amazing result. It's the improvement is huge. Uh, um, yes. Yeah. If no further question, I, I think I will just ask one question. Uh, can you summarize why? Uh, why do you think you can achieve such a great improvement, a significant improvement over baselines? Um. um. From occurrence and uh, running time. Yeah, yeah, accuracy. I see accuracy is uh, improved a lot as well, right? Running time, I think, yeah, it's more obvious to me. But for for accuracy, uh, why your approach improves uh, so much? Yes. Um, We 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 truly we truly think that uh, introduce the set information can uh, in, in improve the occurrence because set information is uh, described the uh, described described the, the character characteristics of users and items from another perspectives and these perspectives can provide more information than users current interactions or users historical interactions. Also, some, um, also, um, some, some graph-based uh, recommendation algorithms does not, con uh, does not uh, um, consider the time, time information. And time information uh, contains, uh, also, uh, co contains much information like uh, you will you will interaction what uh, what items you will interaction next time and this information can give the, our model more um, our model more uh, uh, our model more so to decide which items will uh, which you, will user will next will interaction with in next time yes. Yeah, got it. Uh, thanks for the explanation.